This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you tap that like button, tap that subscribe button, destroy that like button. Let's get right into the news. I appreciate you guys very much. Another day on the quarantine. Okay, well, Young Chop took to Instagram yesterday, said he wants smoke with uh, French Montana, criticizes Meek Mill for being soft. Because, and, and it, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Whenever I see a rapper at the range it's in showing it off like they're tough, that's always super, super corny to me. But uh, he is going a little too hard at Meek. Like, what did Meek and Young Chop... What happened between Meek and Young Chop? Why is Meek the guy that he obsesses over? He also talks about uh, Drake. He says the song I wrote for... He's just as soft as, uh, you know, Jay, uh, Jay Prince Jr., he says. It's like, dude, you're, you're start. See, here's the problem with what's happening with Young Chop. He is creating so many problems, he won't know where anything comes from. You know, he just got arrested the other day, came out and blamed it on 21 Savage and Meek Mill. It's like, but then he had people pulling up at his crib. He doesn't know where this stuff is coming from, and that's really dangerous. You know, he's he's going at everybody, man. Everybody. He was just criticizing Drake, calling, saying, Top Boy, that sounds a little spooky. <laughs> top Boy, you know that Top Boy thing that Drake has out on Netflix? He says, that's a spooky title. He says, Pop Smoke hated Meek Mill. I don't, it's just like crazy, man. It's like, why do you keep coming over this? I don't know what's going on with Young Chop. Uh, what, he actually liked a post from WAC100, who's another loose cannon out here. He's talking about to all your dummies walking around saying that my car got popped out. Look at yourself. Look at this picture. That's not, uh, you know, someone you know, shooting at me. It's uh, someone like, a, it looks like someone took a hammer to his car and smashed the window. Who cares? Dude. WAC 100 starts a lot of problems with people, man. That's what happened. Then he said, try the driver's side next time. See, here's the funny thing. He was implying that somebody popped out his car and he retracted it. That's what's happening here. Because in the first one, he said, next time, try the driver's side. Bro, it, it looks like someone hit your car with a hammer. Okay. Uh, but he tried to imply that it was that yesterday and people called him out on that. That That's not a... Go look at the Nipsey video I did, Streets on Lock. That's someone popping at somebody's car. Nipsey's car was hit twice in the back of his 7 Series when he had a 7 Series. But he had double pane glass, so it didn't go through the glass. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> then he goes at, uh, yeah, WAC 100 goes at uh, Amber Rose's boyfriend or whatever. That's, I don't know. Who cares? I'm not even going to investigate why. Because I don't care. Gucci Man, we talked about this last video. He talks about, you know, Young Thug, Mojo. Uh, he talks about everything on this, you know. And uh, he actually admitted his wrongs. He said, I had a few missteps with Young Thug, but that's like my bro. Like, he said, I can never be mad at him. He can never be mad at me. That's forever. And Young Thug reciprocates and puts up a picture of the 1017 chain and says slime. So, like, I'm glad they worked it out because, like, Thug started with Gucci. You know, we might not have a Young Thug now if it wasn't for Gucci then. Gucci really helped Young Thug in the beginning. Just guide him. Sometimes you just need that person believing in the beginning. I'm not saying he made Young Thug who he is. I'm just saying he supported him. And people supported Gucci in the beginning, you know? They did. I mean, no matter what he tells you, uh, Big Cat, whatever his name was, Big yeah, Big Cat, it supported him a little bit. It got him to the next level. I think they worked out their differences later on. But, you know, an artist outgrow, you know, the, um, the mentee outgrows the mentor at one point, you know? The protege, I should say. <laughs> grows the mentor at one point and um you guys come back together you know you got to break up to make up no 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 you know no 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 spooky <laughs> um anyways uh what was the last thing i wanted to put in? oh yeah Birdman's getting married this year but that's not big enough news but uh anyways i hope you guys are having a great day this is light i'll come with something better when i get back i gotta go 
get some weights or something. I got a treadmill now and I got weights. I canceled my gym membership, so I'm saving money there. And I'm just gonna pay this treadmill off and everything. Because the gyms aren't gonna open for a while, you know? So I'm just gonna have a gym in my garage, man. You know, and that's it. I gotta lose weight. You, you, we all know I gotta lose weight, right? <laughs> We've determined that. I'm eating healthier and everything now, so. Um, once I get a handle on this, you know, I feel like I got a handle on everything, I'll share my journey with you on another channel or something, or maybe I'll start an Instagram because sometimes we all got to like need a little inspiration. I got other people that inspire, inspire me to do better. Um, and I want to inspire you guys too. Yeah. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys and you can go anywhere and I appreciate you're with me. Uh, I love you guys and take care of yourself. Mask up, gloves, don't panic because it's not, just, you know, take the precautions. Just like going to a car, we buckle up the seatbelt. Take your precautions, okay? You know, because like, you gotta just take your precautions. I appreciate you guys. You'll be fine. And this will, this will go away in a few weeks, I think. You know, it'll get better at least, you know. Then it'll warm up and hopefully that helps everything out. But hey. I'm not an expert on this. I'm just hoping for the best, as we all should. Um, and hey, man, appreciate you guys. I want to say one thing, though. I see they're doing, when they did the bailout and unemployment, they're giving people an extra 600 a week, which is cool. I think they should have cut it down to $400 a week and give that $200 to the people working at the grocery stores because those are the people that are like still working, but really interacting with people a lot because you got to do checkout and you got to do you got to be in the aisle stocking and maybe they should they should get a little boost for that you know something you know an extra you know fifty hundred dollars a week you know something you know a little incentive during this time make it a month or two that would have been nice to balance that out a little more because why are we why is someone that's matching it's almost more uh it's beneficial to get laid off then at that point because it's like you get to go home and eat potato chips and get make more than you would at your job right <laughs> it should be more of a balance you know that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying a little balance here I love you guys appreciate you guys this is jordan tower with jt news i'll check you on the next one